Hey everyone, it's Ben. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, just uh, wanted to take this time to talk about uh, the new Scream film which opened today. Um, and also just talk a little bit about the previous Scream films, uh, the first three in the series. Get a little bit of overview about how I felt about those films and what I think about the new film. Now, I, like everybody else probably that was a fan of the first three films, was kind of skeptical when it was announced that there would be a fourth. You know, there hadn't been, you know, talk about it for a while, or it was rumors, and then all of a sudden Miramax had signed to do a fourth film, and Kevin Williamson had come back to write it, and thankfully enough, Wes Craven was going to direct it. And there was, you know, issues that you heard about with, you know, Nev Campbell not wanting to come back. Um, Wes Craven only agreeing to come back if there was a good script in place. So, you know, there was a lot of ambiguity and, you know, uncertainty about what the finished product would be. Um, and you hear about, you know, issues with Kevin Williamson and the Weinsteins. And that Edwin Kruger had come back, who had actually written a Scream 3 had come back to do some redrafts of Scream 4 once Kevin Williamson had kind of gone back to his Vampire Diaries show and kind of left the project. But, you know, Wes Craven kept assuring that the script was finished before he signed on or he wouldn't have done it, um, hearkening back to the issues he had with Scream 3 not having a completed script before they started shooting. So, you know, you don't know what to expect until you actually see the final product. Um, to give a little overview about the Scream films, um, it's one of my favorite series in horror. Um, I am always thankful to the series for reinventing horror back in reinventing the genre back in the mid '90s, because back then there there really wasn't very many good horror films. There was a few. Um, most of them were directed video at the time, because DVD was still you know being you know brought to the forefront as the next media. But uh, there really wasn't a lot of good horror films out there. I think the best horror film up until Scream had come out was Candyman. And then Candyman 2 came out, and it was okay, but it wasn't like the original. They're just, they weren't scary anymore. Um, and I think that the slasher craze of the 80s had kind of worn out its welcome. So there needed to be a bit of a hiatus in between like 89 and 95. There just wasn't any good horror films. And then... Scream came along and just surprised everybody because it had a really good cast, excellent script, and just a great director with Wes Craven, who had, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and Serpent in the Rainbow, Hills Have Eyes. I mean, come on. He is the, with next to John Carpenter, he was the director for horror films at that time. So I really loved Scream. Um, was a huge fan of it. Was a huge fan of Scream 2. Um, I think both of them are very strong films. With Scream 3, I think that it lost something. And I think it had to do with Aaron Kruger taking over for Kevin Williamson as the writer. It became a little bit too self-referential. Um, whereas the other two had that, but also had scares and originality. I felt like Scream 3 kind of... It was almost like it didn't know what kind of film it was. And, you know, it's kind of a cliche topic, but, you know, it it didn't really know what it wanted to be. I mean, there was like a scene with Jay and Silent Bob in it, and I was like, what are they doing in this film? I always thought that was kind of a stupid scene in Scream 3. Even though I still do like the film, and I think there's a lot to like about the film, I just wasn't... I think I was like most people where it was a good conclusion, but... Based on the strength of the first two films, I think Scream 3 fell a little short, and it was my least favorite out of the three at that time. Um, now, going into Scream 4, there's my little tickets right there. Wife and I got to see it last night. I am happy to say Scream 4 is, I think, the best film since the original. And I was not you know, sure how it was going to turn out. Um, the thing about the fourth film, and I'm not going to give away any spoilers because I want people to go out and support the film, um, is that it is a dark film. It does have the same kind of self-referential humor. You know, 
sort of dissecting films and the horror genre and sequels and remakes and things like that, but it just is a very dark film, and I think it just has to do with the fact that the horror genre has changed so much since the last Scream film has come out. You've had Saw and Hostel, lots of remakes that have come out, so all of that plays into Scream 4's strengths. I also think that the new cast, as well as Courtney Cox, David Arquette, and Nev Campbell returning from the originals, you know, they, the new cast is great. Um, they just have a lot of good people in the cast. It's, they all work well off each other. They're actually developed characters. They're not just there for, you know, sort of just, you know, uh, they're not just victims. So, uh, that was one thing that really was towards the strengths. And again, Kevin Williamson delivered an excellent script. I think it's his best script since the original. I mean, Scream 2 is awesome too, and I still love Scream 2, but I just think that Scream 4 feels more like a direct sequel to the original. They did a great job on it. I recommend it 100%. I'm going to go see it again. My wife loved it. She wants to go see it again, so we're going to go see it again this weekend. And I recommend anybody that has the opportunity to, to go out and see this film and support it do it because my hope is that because it does deal with the topic of remakes and the sort of the social media of today with reality shows and things like that I'm hopeful that maybe Scream 4 will relaunch the horror genre again and we can get away from the remakes and more original content will be coming out and I like some remakes that have come out I've been a big supporter of the Friday the 13th remake but Nightmare on Elm Street and some of these other ones, I'm just like, enough. You know, that you can't recapture the original. And a lot of people will probably say, well, you know, Scream 4 isn't as good as the original. And it doesn't try to be. It just tries to take the characters and continue them, you know, in a current, you know, current situations and things like that. And I think that's what's strong about it. So, you know, again, I completely recommend Scream 4. I give it 10 out of 10. Loved it. So I would recommend going to see it. Um, hopefully if, you know, the rumors are true that they are planning two more films, if they're as strong as Scream 4, um, I'm really looking forward to a second trilogy, um, in the Scream universe. So please feel free to comment on this and let me know how you thought about what you thought about the film. I really appreciate any feedback and look forward to hearing from people. Thanks a lot. Ghostface has returned. Take it easy, guys. Hope everyone has a nice weekend.